What we're doing is good because it helps the environment and it slows down pollution and global warming and everything. I think it's important so we can keep from pollution getting into the creek over there and leading into the Chesapeake Bay. The Chesapeake Ecology Center is a nonprofit environmental organization. We promote conservation landscaping and community greening to help protect the Chesapeake Bay watershed. It's important to do whatever we can to reduce polluted runoff. We have a lot of impervious surface on the 10 acre campus of Adams Academy Middle School where we're based. And the fact that we are at the tidal headwaters of College Creek is an ideal location to showcase landscaping techniques that help protect our waterways. We are promoting rainscaping, which is simply landscaping to reduce the detrimental effect of stormwater runoff or polluted runoff. Rainscaping can be installing rain gardens, which are simply vegetated depressions that allow the water to temporarily, that's the operative word, temporarily pond so that it can soak into the ground, be filtered the way nature intended but also using rain barrels or green roofs, permeable pavers, anything that reduces stormwater runoff are our rainscaping techniques. What we're promoting with the rainscaping campaign though are things that homeowners can easily do. I think that if a lot of people would, would spend a little bit of their time in their own yards to attempt to reduce the pollution from you know, overuse of, of pesticides and herbicides and fertilizers, we could all make a big difference to the bay. The rain garter filters the, all the dirtiness of the rainwater and goes into Kyle's Creek and filters it out to the Chesapeake Bay. We're lucky enough to have this piece of property right on the water. And so it was a win-win situation. The Chesapeake Ecology Center uh, came and started working with us and our students. And so this has given our kids an opportunity to get out and know what it is to volunteer and learn about the ecology of the local area. I have kids that come back year after year and they'll look at trees that they've planted and there's something to coming back to a small tree that you've planted and seeing that the tree is now taller than you are. Well, just to save our earth and all that so no more pollution will come over here. I think it's important so that the fish can live so people can eat because sometimes that's the only way people can eat and so that we'll have clean waters. Every spring and fall we work with Adams Academy middle school students to have them learn about any number of environmental issues and the kids really get a lot out of it. We've worked with over 50 community and school groups of all types from grade school through high school and even college. University of Maryland students, Naval Academy students, lots of garden groups. Today we have master gardeners here. So we're installing the gardens but at the same time we're learning and our volunteers are absolutely critical to this whole native plant demonstration garden center. It's important for my company to give something back. Greenskeeper Environmental has been involved in the project here at CEC Adams Academy for about three years. Today we donated our services and supplied about 100 cubic yards of wood chips and hand tools, wheelbarrows, things like that to help facilitate the volunteer day for the kids here at the school. It's important for us because it's, it helps the bay and pollution causes animals to die and stuff like that. I like work. I do it at my grandfather's house. It's fun. CEC uses a number of volunteer opportunities. So almost every month there are opportunities for volunteers to come over to help plant grasses, uh, do maintenance, do outreach to the community. And so from uh, 8 to 80, we're just open to anybody that wants to come over and give us a hand.